<laughs> Greetings! This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Room, with another bo Eve's vocab of the week. And where I talk to you, where I give you where I try to save the planet Earth through teaching the world new vocab. Yeah. I think by that yawn and the opening lines I just gave, if you think God, I think, I think the world is doomed. Okay? Anyways, let's just start off with a word called Basile. 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 And the word, probably a French word, it looks like. And it means easily done and with little effort. And basically, you can use it in the following sentence. Cleaning my room was a rather facile, was rather facile. After I moved the elephant out. Yeah, I think there's no question about why my room was a mess, but <laughs> anyway, fiduciary. A position of trust and confidence. That's after her, Rachel and I, and this is a story from when I was little, so you can say it's probably silly or dumb right now for me to really think this way, but I went with this because I thought, yeah, this sounds like a semi good example, because even if it was time, that's what it, mean, it meant to me, and that was something I would, yeah, okay, that would have been a good example, so, agree to disagree, so, okay, after Rachel and I, I came in with frostbitten hands, and had to deal with the pain together, I realized our friendship was one of great, great fiduciary. I don't know if I'm using this word correctly, so I apologize, but like I said, I hope I'm helping you, and if I'm not, you can laugh or put down in the comments below how stupid I am. So, anyways, this is parochialism. Next word is parochialism. The tendency to view the world through one's, through one's own eyes and perspective. Yes. A good example of this, and I went with a character that maybe some of you may or may not know, and it's Daria from the show Daria. Huh. <sighs> Oops. A parochialism. Due to the fact the show had a tendency to view everything from Daria's perspective. And the reason why I picked this word, mostly because of how it sounded. It sounded like parochial, like a parochial school or something. Where you wear uniforms and you... Well, yeah, mostly where you, hey, <laughs> next, next word will be edify, to instruct, to enlighten spiritual. Okay. I find reality shows to be ones that do not edify, okay, but entertain. 
which is probably a universal truth here on the internet. So many people complain about it. Uh, another example is Captain Planet and Planeteers is a show meant to edify people on environmental issues. There we go. Now, this is one that I think almost everyone can either laugh at or I'm going to get some nasty comments. And the word is defunct. Meaning, no longer in effect. The first one is about me. Just so I can get it out of here. My life is defunct. I have no life. I am doing nothing. Hey. You could also argue I am dead. It's not the best way to say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the car is in defunct is a good example. Then you could say the feminist movement is defunct. Considering how many members of the movement have complained and were being completely treated or the people that will be willing to support it have been turned away from it. Okay. And that is all, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any ideas for any more words of the week, hey, please, well, okay, not, okay, well, that's it. Yeah, that's all the words for this particular week. If you want to look at where I get these words, please go to studyblue.com or follow by following the link that I have down in the description and please hey, follow me on my Tumblr and Twitter which again links shall be down in the description if you do so and please rate comment and, and subscribe to me here on wondrous the wondrous world that is YouTube ladies and gentlemen and have a good night this is Evelyn O'Malley, out like a light.